Hey there, Bobby Hunt, 3bluelightdiet.com, and this is a quick lesson on sunlight windows and truck driver wrinkles. You may have noticed lately there's this picture of a truck driver going around, and the left side of his face is all ganky and freaking wrinkly and just looks terrible, and the right side of his face looks basically fine. And dermatologists say, see, this is what 20 years of sunlight does to the left side of your face because he's by his car window the whole time and the, and, and the, the passenger side window is far away and the sunlight didn't reach him there. And I'm just gonna show you how that is complete nonsense in this video here. Sorry, this car is a mess right now, but I just had the idea to do this video. So that's what we're doing. Your dermatologist doesn't know what the hell they are talking about and I am going to prove it right now. So this right here is a spectrometer. And what a spectrometer does is give you the nutrient profile or the colors of the light that a certain light so that are coming out of a certain light source. Okay, so when I go through my sunroof here and take the nutrient profile of sunlight, this is what we are getting right now. Look at that. So on the left side here, you've got UVA, UVB light. Then you've got blue, green, yellow, orange in the middle. And then on the right side, you've got red and infrared on the far right side there. That is the natural, that's what the, 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 the spectrum of sunlight looks like. You're getting all the colors of the rainbow. You're getting invisible UV and invisible infrared as well. But then when you're exposed to windows, sunlight through windows, in this case, a car, gives you an altered spectrum of that sunlight. And it basically creates an artificial spectrum of light because you wouldn't see that spectrum in nature. It needs to come through man-made windows. So it's artificial. So this is what full spectrum sunlight looks like. But when we go to the windshield of a car, watch what happens. Notice the amount and then notice all the UV on the left side. And then notice the red and infrared. Do you see how that was uh, reduced, number one? Tons of the red and infrared light went away, and then basically all of the UVB and UVA light disappeared. And that's because your windshield is built to filter out most all the UV light. And then, as you can see, tons of the red and infrared light, while well, leaving a lot of that blue and green light un touched. Now that's incredibly unhealthy for you, but that's not dealing with what's going on with the trucker because that's hitting him head on. So what's going on when the trucker is getting light through the window on the driver's side? The window on the driver's side does not block the same kind of light that the window, that the windshield blocks, all right? And yes, the trucker from that study most of his life had the windows up. Anybody who drives a on the highway knows that truckers mostly keep their windows up. So the vast majority of the light that that trucker is getting on the left side of his face is from the window up. So here's what the sunlight looks like again. Right, nice full spectrum. Now, when we go to the car window on the driver's side, this is what happens. Boom. Look at what happens. So I want you to notice there's there's some keys in here. Even more red and infrared are blocked from this driver's side window. Okay. Relatively blue and green in the middle remains untouched. There was a little drop in it, but not much. But then look at the UV light. So the UV light on the left Almost all the UVB light's gone, and the vast majority of the UVA light is still there. All right, so this is a completely artificial spectrum of light. The UVB light's taken away, the UVA light's still there. It's almost like being in a tanning salon. Tanning salon's proven to cause wrinkles. It's, a, it's an artificial spectrum of UV light, plus... The blue light remains there, so you're getting blue light toxicity, and then the red and the infrared are diminished greatly. Red and infrared 
are the counter to blue and UV light. They repair and regenerate the quote unquote damage that UV and blue does to your skin. So this truck driver is getting an artificial wavelength of light. It's not sunlight. It's an artificial spectrum of light that, you're, that you can't find in nature. Okay, so it's man-made. You don't get glass in enclosures in nature. This is man-made light that's going on. He's getting overloaded with blue light that causes skin pigmentation and wrinkles, and then UVA light, which studies show that UVB kind of counters a lot of the cancer-causing properties or wrinkle-causing properties of UVA light. And then that, that, that infrared and red that counter everything it's basically removed. It's crazy. Your dermatologist has no clue about this. They are just talking out of their ass. They have no clue what this thing is called that I'm holding in my hand. They have no clue what the spectrum of sunlight compared to spectrum of light through a window is. And then they don't know that the windshield has lets in different light than the wind than the driver's side windows. They don't know what they're talking about. So what is going on with the truck driver is he is not getting full spectrum sunlight. He's getting an alien version of sunlight. He's not getting this sunlight right here, this full spectrum. He's getting a warped version of it. So artificial light essentially is causing his problem, causing the wrinkles and any skin cancer that he gets from this, okay? And not to mention that your truck driver probably eats at night. And when you eat food at night, you disrupt how your skin clocks, which alters how your skin works the next day to protect you from sunlight, to process sunlight, I should say, right? So he's more prone to sunburns and wrinkles that way. Number two is the guy's also exposed to tons of artificial light at night through car headlights and any lights on in his truck. Artificial blue light at night causes increased skin pigmentation, wrinkles, and risk of what? Melanoma, all right? And then to top all that nonsense off, truck driver bro is not getting out in the morning and letting early morning light sunlight on his skin. Early morning sunlight is loaded with the regenerative red and infrared light, and it has very little highly stimulatory UV light in it to cause damage. So that early morning sunlight is nature's built-in sunscreen for you. So yeah, sun is your sunscreen if you use it property, properly. You have to get that early morning light because it preps your skin, preps and protects your skin from the stronger light to come out later in the day. Truck driver bro, no way he got that. No way he's getting this full spectrum balanced version of sunlight every day that has the stimulatory stuff to keep you alert, to um, uh, keep your hormones properly regulated, but then also the rest, the, the regenerative part to balance what, what the stimulus, stimulative part of sunlight does. No, trucker bro is getting an artificial man-made spectrum of light that's warping his face and increasing his chances for skin cancer and not only skin cancer but other types of major cancers and heart disease and diabetes all that stuff so again get real sun not sunlight through windows your dermatologist has no clue about this stuff Best place to start, bluelightdiet.com forward slash links, L-I-N-K-S. Okay, lesson over, Bobby Hunt 3. I'll see you when I see you.